Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another No Man's Sky guide. In today's guide, I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks on how to get the Extreme Weather Survival Milestone and Trophy in No Man's Sky. Now before even starting this, you will need some supplies. I suggest you guys have as much zinc as you possibly can. Just go to the nearest space station or planet that's around you, try to find some zinc, and just start stockpiling that up. You will need quite a lot of that for this guide. And this is a very easy method, so long as you already have the energy needed to refuel your life support systems. So it will be very important that you have a good amount of supplies before going to the planet with extreme weather. It can be quite difficult to find supplies on extreme planets, so it, it is best to have those before you get to one. Now the second part of this guide is actually a little difficult because you will need to find a planet that has extreme weather. Now anytime that you land on a planet, it will actually tell you the weather conditions of the planet, whether it's a high security planet or anything, it pretty much just tells you everything about it that you need to know. Now whenever you see above your weather icon, if you see the words extreme, then you know you're in the right place. Anytime that you're in any place that's as extreme, whether it be hot or cold, you can start getting progress towards survivalist on this planet. So all you really need to do is just make sure that you're on the planet. So once you're on the planet, there are some tips and tricks that I can give you guys to help survive just a little bit more and actually just a little, get the trophy a bit faster as well. Now all around No Man's Sky planets, you can find little crates and blueprints all around. Now if you get lucky enough and go to an abandoned building or just happen to stumble across a blueprint while venturing around, you may stumble across one of these thermal dynamic blueprints. So if you do have these thermal layered blueprints and you're on a cold planet, installing one of these will make survival much, much easier and you can actually stay alive in just about any condition so long as you have the right blueprint. The hot planets and the cold planets both require their own blueprints, but don't worry, you, once you have the blueprint you're set and you can make as many thermal layers as you want because once you have the blueprint it is permanent. So it will also be helpful if you have some carbon and just the supplies needed to install these as well before getting to the extreme weather planets. Now once you are on the extreme weather planets, however, you don't necessarily need to have these installed, but if you are planning on walking around collecting resources or just discovering any sort of life on the planet, it will basically be necessary for you to have these in order to stay out of your ship for more than about two minutes. So as time progresses on the planet, storms may seem to roll in occasionally. Now if a storm does roll in, you may need to double up on your thermal layers because it will actually you take your health down quite fast if you don't. Now it does kind of suck because you will have to recharge these every every couple of minutes and the more storms that are out the faster these are going to deplete. And that is why you need to have the zinc or just really any sort of charging materials on you before getting to these planets. It can be very hard to find materials while you're on these planets so you can die quite easily if you don't actually have them before getting here. So just make sure you're stockpiled up on that before going to the extreme weather planet. Now if you are on an extreme weather planet and get lucky enough to stumble upon a trading outpost or any sort of shelter you do want to try to dock your ship here as soon as possible. This is the easiest way to actually get the survivalist trophy because you can go buy resources at any moment. The terminal is right here, so if you run out of any sort of zinc or anything that's going to charge up your thermal layers, you can just go buy them from the terminal right here and never have to worry about it. Now, if you do not even have the thermal layers at all, don't worry because you can still get the naturalist survival trophy and it's actually extremely easy. So if you don't have any of the sigmas allowing you to survive in the extreme weather conditions, don't worry. Just be sure to land your ship somewhere safe and step right out of it. Now, so long as you're within like a 10 to 20 foot radius of your ship, you can just stand in the extreme weather and you don't actually have to have any of those thermal layers on. You can still survive for a couple minutes. Now, anytime that the weather meter does get down really low, you will start to take damage if that goes down to zero. So anytime that it goes down to zero, you just want to hop back in your ship for about 30 seconds. It should recharge back up and then you can hop right back out of your ship and just pretty much stand around and just keep repeating the method over and over again until you get the progress that you need. That's actually the easiest way to do it and this is the way that method that I used at first before I had any of the blueprints to stay alive. And it actually is quite easy, it just does take a little bit of time because you have to just keep hopping in your ship, hopping back out and kind of just standing around. Now the hands down easiest way to get the progress in this is if you just have about four or five thermal layers, you equip them all to your exosuit, charge them all up all the way, then just hop out of your ship. If you have about four or five of them on, you should be good for quite some time and you can go out, get something to eat, get a cup of coffee or something, come back in about five minutes and you'll have a bunch of progress made just from sitting there so long as you have the thermal layers on. Otherwise, when you come back, you may be dead. So definitely make sure you have enough on before leaving as you can actually die quite easily if the storm rolls in, even if you have a bunch of those sigmas on. So hopefully these tips and tricks help you to get the extreme weather progress and the trophy as well. If it did, be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe for future No Man's Sky guides. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.